What's up, YouTube? So, uh, here's Sonic OSX here with a round of, well, with another video. This is a quick video. I just got out of school, and I believe this is my Apple base. That I just, uh, okay, so I just received an Apple base station at Apple Airport Extreme from the flea market for around ten dollars. Uh, uh, last, uh, what was it, uh, last weekend, and so it's been working out pretty fine. So now I just want to show you guys I bought an Apple Airport Express to extend the range. So I'm just going to make a little quick video and open it up now. Well, at least I believe that's what I think this is. Got my handy dandy scissors here. Let's see here, I gotta put the sides. Put the other side. Oh, not bad packaging, and I was right. So here you take it out of this bubble wrap that they have. Bubble wrap wrapped up, and then they had it in a uh, Ziploc bag. Wow, I can't believe it—a Ziploc bag. And here we go, Apple Airport Express. Let's see, model number. Uh, uh, well, my camera has no zoom, so. Uh. I'll probably uh, have to find out what it is on Mac Tracker. I believe that's the indicator light to see if it's on. Uh, here is the uh, e uh, uh, USB for uh, uh, printing through uh, airport. Uh, here is a Ethernet for connecting a computer. I believe from Ethernet or I'm not really sure. Does this go? Is this upload or for download or? I'm not sure what this Ethernet is. Um, it might be from the wireless LAN, but the Airport Extreme is already connected to the uh, to the uh, WAN. I'm sorry, for to the WAN, um, to the modem. I mean, and here we have an audio jack for streaming through iTunes. So it looks just like a MacBook Power Brick. Um, so I'm going to plug this in and then um, pull up pull up a the airport utility on my Mac and see how that goes. Okay, so here we are at the desktop. Um, so I have narrowed it down to two. It could either be the Airport Express 802.11n first generation or the Airport Express, which was uh, came out around 2004. This one came out around 2008. So I am not too sure, but either way, they both go up to, I believe, 54 megabits. And it doesn't tell me what the wireless data rate is. Excuse me, what the wireless data rate is. Um, hmm. But this one says 54 megabits per second. Um, yeah, you know, I'm I'm not too sure. It says uh, 150 feet range, 11 megabits. Uh, I'm not too sure. So, uh, let's get started with the uh, airport utility. That was fast. So, as you can see here, the airport extreme, it's reading the settings from that. Still reading settings. It's gonna uh, read those settings still. Hmm. I wonder why it's taking so long. Maybe because I just plugged up another one. Hmm. Okay, I'm gonna give it a second and see why it's doing that. Okay, I had a major malfunction of the brain, and oh, also I have the Airport Extreme settings up. Uh, uh, not that many things connected right now. So, let's see, let's take that off the screen. Eh, eh, okay. Let's see, there's nothing under other devices, but first I have to connect to the Airport Express through the uh, airport lineup. Uh, let's see, this version of Airport Utility does not support this base station. Oh jeez. Okay. Let's try it again. Alrighty. So looks like I'm going to have to see what I can do with my MacBook since it's running a uh, Mac OS X 2006. So uh, no, Mac OS X. Uh, Snow Leopard. Uh, I don't know why 10.10.11.6. Uh, uh, something like that. 10.6. Let's leave it at that. So, um, I'm going to run the utility on there and see what happens. I got it hooked up on my um, MacBook 2006 and 
on that utility it's where it appears to be working fine but on this utility it says that it is not supported um, so I believe everything is working fine because it only shows up with one network instead of two now so I believe everything is working fine and I can um, I could uh, set it from my PC as well so and it, it also says that uh, both of uh, both of the base stations are hooked up with only one of why with only one wireless network so it I believe it should be uh, excuse me it should be extending my Wi-Fi it should um, it doesn't it doesn't look like a let's see the uh, the Wi-Fi it, it, it's a bar higher so and let's see my phone appears to have a uh, two two bars as well usually it has one bar so I believe it should be working just fine but um I, I believe after trial and error we'll find out but uh, so apparently I know that I have the 2004 version oh no wait yeah 2004 version uh, which goes up to 54 megabits a second so I don't know if it might be bogging down my uh, my uh, airport stream or not I don't know but we should uh, we should find out uh, eventually so uh, thanks for watching